Two of the most important verbs in the French language are être and avoir. Whether you're describing a movie, sharing your own emotional state, or recounting events in the past, these verbs are essential. They're also highly irregular and can be tricky for students to get the hang of. We translate être as to be and avoir as to have. But the two words can be used in similar and sometimes confusing contexts. Are you excited or do you have excitement? What's your go-to verb for the past tense and what are the exceptions? Salut! Je suis Malcolm, professeur de français chez Babo Live. In this video, I'll break down those questions and more to help you with these super useful French verbs. If you want to tell someone you're happy, sad, or annoyed, you'll need the verb être. Ça va aujourd'hui? Non, je suis fatigué ce matin. Yes, you heard that right. Je suis is correct. But je suis is the informal spoken contraction used in everyday French. Using it will make you sound more natural. Let me put you on to another one. Tu es becomes t'es. Once an English speaking student learns the phrase je suis fatigué, it's natural to assume that you'd use être to say I am hungry or are you scared? But the literal translation won't work here. You'd say j'ai faim or I have hunger. Being thirsty or having thirst works the same way. Tu n'as pas bu depuis hier? Non, j'ai très soif. It's not just hunger and thirst. If you're hot or cold, excited or ashamed, you need avoir. Similar to those feelings, avoir is the standard verb to express age. You no longer are an age, you have an age. Makes sense though, right? You have a certain number of years, you've earned them. Just combine avoir and the number age you are or feel. Non, vraiment, tu as quel âge? Je vous jure, j'ai 23 ans. Avoir is also useful in asking for things you need, like directions, help, a phone charger. It takes the form avoir besoin, which literally means to have need. Uh, vous êtes perdu? Oui, pardon, j'ai besoin des directions. Things get a little easier when describing objects. Here we need être, and our translations from English can be more literal. Whether what we're describing is colorful, hot, old, or beautiful. Imagine you're in a French art museum and want to describe a beautiful painting. Use être with an accompanying adjective and voila. Comment tu trouves ce tableau? Il est riche en couleurs, vibrant et stimulant. For most of the past tense verbs in French, you'll be using avoir plus the past participle. Remember, you conjugate avoir, but the past participle stays the same, even with different subjects. Tu as vu le nouveau film hier? Non, hier j'ai acheté des nouveaux vêtements au centre commercial. We might ask someone in English, have you seen that movie? Just like we do in French. But other times we need to lose that word for word translation. Avoir and the past participle is a rough equivalent of our simple past tense. You wouldn't usually say, I have bought shoes yesterday, but you would say, j'ai acheté des chaussures hier. There's an important exception. In the past tense, verbs of motion like aller, venir, and sortir get combined with être. You have to modify the participle based on the gender and the quantity of the subject. Je tombe, je suis tombé. There are 14 main verbs to be aware of here. À quelle heure elle a quitté le travail? Elle est partie vers 17h. If you're having a hard time with these two verbs, that's a good thing. That means that you're starting to notice the differences between translating your language word for word and actually communicating in French. The best thing you can do to get comfortable is to just keep practicing until it becomes a reflex. But you can also rewatch this video when you want a little refresher. Subscribe to Babbel for more videos. And if you're looking for a teacher, you can always find me on Babbel Live.